to this video. In this video, I'll be taking you through the installation steps for the face attendance system. Uh, but before starting with this, uh, if you haven't received the source code via email, uh, make sure you fill the form link which is mentioned in the description box and you will receive the source code. And also please do not share this source code link with anyone as this model is hosted online. If you like keep on sharing this link with people, uh, you won't have access to it and the changes will be discarded. And you get this link only once. So make sure you keep this to yourself and do not share with the other people out there. So now with this, let's get started with the installation process. So I have here listed down the steps for the installation. So the first step is download the source code. So on the email, you will receive the uh, source code. You just have to download it. It will be a zip file. So you just download it and make sure to unzip it. The second step is to install Miniconda. So in order to install Miniconda, you just go to the browser, just type in Miniconda download and just click on the first link and download Miniconda from here based on your system requirements. While installing Miniconda for the first two pop-ups, you have to click next. But when the third pop-up will be there, which will say advanced installation options, make sure you do not, please do not click on the first link, which says add Miniconda 3 to my path environment variable. Just click on the second option and hit install. In this way, we'll install the Miniconda. As I have already installed the Miniconda, we'll go to the next step, which is to launch Miniconda. So you just go to the search bar and type in mini and it will pop up anaconda prompt miniconda 3 just click on that and you can see we are in the base and by default we are in the c drive okay so first of all we will create a conda environment so in order to create a conda environment you just have to type in conda create hyphen hyphen name and then your environment name so i'll keep my environment name as face attendance system okay and this will take a second to do and now it is asking to proceed yes or no you just type y and hit enter okay so our Conda is uh, created now. Now the next step is to activate it. So in order to activate the Conda, we will write Conda activate and the environment name. Make sure you enter the same name and you just hit enter and you can see that we are in the full, we are in the environment here, but we are still in the C drive. And as you can see here, my folder is in, uh, my project folder is in B drive. So what I'll do, I'll just go, go here, copy this path, come to the Miniconda prompt again, type CD and paste the path. And to go in the D drive, I'll just type D and colon. That's it. So in this way, now you can see we are, have, we are in our environment and we are in our project folder as well. And just a quick uh, thing, if you have, you can keep your project anywhere, just make sure you copy the correct path. And if you are in the C drive, you don't have to uh, do this step because as you can see, we are by default, the Anaconda prompt is in C drive. So you just have to navigate to the folder. You don't have to go to the drive again because you're already in it. And now, the last, the last second step would be to install all the required packages. In order to make this project run successfully, you need some packages and for that we have the command here. You just have to copy it and paste it here in the prompt and hit enter. And it will take a couple of seconds to do that. I have already installed all the packages. That's why it is saying requirement already satisfied. But if you don't have this, it will take a couple of seconds and all the packages will be installed. Apart from this, you don't need any other package to run this project. Okay, now we are on the last step. But before that, 
if uh, you need to check that if you are in the correct directory because being in the correct directory is very important so you just type in dir here and hit enter and your your thing your directory should look like this it should have ams underscore run attendance if you do not see the same structure in your directory you are on the wrong path just make sure you do this step okay and let's go to the last step so we need to run this file right here you can also see this file in the folder ams underscore run dot path so in order to run this file you have to type in python ams underscore run dot py and it enter. okay so it will pop up our tick into ui which looks like this at the top it says face attendance using machine learning and it has roll number name we can take images from here here train images is there which will help us to train the images or maybe train a model and automatic attendance from here we can mark attendance so that's how easy it is to install this project if you follow all the steps closely you will have you'll get no error in this so make sure you follow each and every step very carefully and if you need a detailed video on working of this project we have already uploaded on our channel make sure you go to our channel and check it out just to understand how this project works uh, and that would be it uh, and also if you have any other questions or queries you can go to our website extrinsictechnology.com and fill up the form and we'll get back to you as soon as possible that's it for today's video thank you and have a great day bye bye